Hello guys and welcome to this channel. In this video, I will explain the auto closure attribute and when could we use it. An auto closure is a closure that is automatically created to wrap an expression that has been passed as an argument to a function. It doesn't take any arguments and when it's called, it returns the value of the expression that is wrapped inside of it. This syntactic convenience lets you omit braces around a function parameter by writing normal expression inside of an explicit closure. So it's clear that the parameter can create a closure for us from an expression, but why do we need that? Turning an argument into a closure allows us to delay the actual request for an argument. So let's write some code to see that on an example. Let's create a structure person with a properties name and address. Let's add variable is debug mode. It's going to be boolean and set to true. Let's declare function debug. And if debug mode is activated, then we're going to print our debug description. All right. So now let's create person and debug log with a message person and address and try to run it. And here we have get the address which comes from computer property and debug log which prints like we want it because debug mode is activated. But what if we set debug mode to false and try to run it again? Now we are not getting a postal code and debug statement, but we're still getting print from the computer property. It means even if debug mode is not activated, somehow debug log triggers our computer property. So what could we do with that? We could create a closure inside of the debug log without any arguments that returns string. Now message is a function, so we should add parentheses. And here we should add curly braces. So now we're not getting any prints like we should do. Let's try to switch it to true. And now we're getting statements. But how can we get rid of those curly braces and print like normal person dot address? So here the auto closure attribute comes handy. And now we can get rid of those curly braces. And now we are not getting any prints and we can paste a normal expression inside of the debug log even if it's a closure parameter. So thank you for watching this video. If you find it useful, give it a like and I will see you next episode.